Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've just made it out today to uh, Coalhouse Fort on the uh, River Thames here and um, it's a really windy day so apologies if you're getting any wind over the uh, mic uh, on, on my pieces to camera today but unfortunately can't really do much about that. Um, but yeah unfortunately another grey day but um, it seems like we've sort of had grey days pretty much on and off for the past sort of four to six weeks now but it's trying to make the most of it and today is actually a little bit better than sun because there is a little bit of definition, a bit, a bit of texture there within the cloud so hopefully I'll be able to pull some of that back out in post-processing but hopefully uh, yeah looking forward to grabbing some good images today So I've just been walking around some of these uh, pill boxes that are uh, here at uh, Coalhouse Fort that obviously were used in the Second World War to uh, protect any invasion up the uh, Thames estuary. So I've um, got quite an interesting image. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably title this one Lookout because um, it's obviously one of the uh, gun emplacements here looking out right across the estuary and um, obviously taking two exposures. One for obviously the foreground as it's obviously quite dark and then obviously one for looking through the window or looking through the lookout to uh, obviously an imbalance exposure between the two because there is that dynamic range between obviously being indoors effectively and then obviously looking out through the window as well. But uh, yeah, hopefully working out to be quite a good image. I've got the uh, camera set up on uh, F16 ISO 100 and obviously just working through the uh, different exposures um, or shutter speed should I say just so I can obviously balance that two images and then obviously uh, play around with them in post processing to obviously cut and paste and uh, work out to be quite a balanced image but hopefully first image in the bag really good. So I've just got another image set up here, uh, looking at one of these lookout towers. I think I believe it's one of the uh, sort of original radar towers um, and watchtowers for when obviously um, they had the uh, obviously blitz of London and they were obviously looking out for the fighters coming over and um, obviously uh, giving forewarning to the people of London to obviously take cover. But um, yeah, I've got, got the image set up here with uh, the tower on the uh, on the right hand rule of thirds as you're looking at the image and um, taking one exposure for the foreground and then having to re-expose for the uh, sky as well and then working in manual mode being able to sort of adjust the exposure so I can obviously get that detail in the foreground as well as in the sky as well and then looking to blend them both together in post processing but I've got the camera set up at uh, f16 ISO 100 and working out to be quite an interesting foreground with some of this uh, debris here on the foreshore as well so working out to be quite good
like they say in photography, it's always good to do 180 degrees. Once you think you've got one image, it's always a better image looking straight behind you. And that's what I've pretty much done here. I actually noticed when I was composing that image and doing my piece to camera that uh, this funny color blue was a turning in the sky. And um, yeah, I didn't really know what that was. It's a bit weird. I'm, all I'm used to is gray skies. But uh, anyway, joking aside, obviously come the other side of the tower now and um, got my wide angle lens on, set about sort of 10, 11 mil um, F16 ISO 100. And again, doing two exposures, one for the foreground, which is about 10 for the second, and then obviously one for the sky as well. And then obviously blending them both together in post-processing. So hopefully get that balance within the image but yeah quite working out really well it always pays to sort of look around and think well can I do it from the opposite angle and will the actual sky or, or whatever the, the background is actually be any different so yeah paid off in this instance So I was just shooting some B-roll for uh, one of the clips and um, notice actually this, uh, this tree on the bank here. And uh, as photographers, we all love a lone tree, don't we? So um, we've obviously got the kit lens on here as well and uh, just focusing in um, F16 ISO 100 and again doing two exposures, one for the foreground and one for the sky as well. But obviously with a break in the cloud as well and the blue sky coming through as well, which is um, add adding on to be quite interesting. So hopefully work out quite a good image. So that concludes my vlog over here at uh, Coal House Fort. It's um, quite an interesting location. Unfortunately, the fort itself is not open um, due to the time of year, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I've, I've been here once before um, on a very different day. But uh, today, I think we're actually with that little bit of texture, a little bit of detail in the sky, being able to sort of pull that back within post-processing will actually work out really quite well, rather than just sort of the actually flat light, the sort of no definition in the sky, which really isn't great for obviously photography but uh, yeah today hopefully working out to be quite interesting and coming along finding different sort of compositions as well and some um, unexpected ones at the same time but hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please make sure you give it a thumbs up as that does help to sort of promote the channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing and if you have subscribed make sure you click on that bell icon so you get notified each time I upload a video but thanks a lot for watching and take care mm -hmm.